good morning, by the way. It's early morning. I'm up early with a little cup of coffee and a little banjo lesson. Great way to start the day. Um, but anyway, I figured today, this week's lesson, we'll go over some hammer-ons. We'll go over a little bit of playing and singing. Uh, I think the, the best song, the easiest song to go over when you're first starting out on banjo, Bowl em Cabbage Down. Simple chord progression. Um, and really, just keep it simple when you're learning. I think when you when somebody first wants to learn, they want to tend to have a tendency to want to rush the learning aspect of it and start getting confusing, you know. So if you just take your time and don't rush, just play, sing, change chords, keep a steady rhythm when you're starting out. Keep everything mechanical. Because when you're mechanical when you're starting out, you're setting in the muscle memory, you're setting in the mindset, you're putting these into automatic to where you don't have to think about what your hands are doing anymore. To where you can just focus on having a good time and playing and singing. It becomes involuntary after a while. And I know it don't seem that way when you're first starting out with frailing or, or playing guitar, or first learning how to play guitar or whatever. It's, a sound, it's new to you, you know. You'll have frustrating points when you're learning um, where you get to the point where you just don't think you're going to be able to do this. And there'll be times where you just put the instrument to the side. And I've done it. And well, I don't think I'm ever going to get it. I'll f just forget it. It's too hard. It's too frustrating. If that ever happens... And I've done it. I can't tell you the number of times when I was learning how to play banjo. And I wanted to learn it. It was something I loved and wanted to learn how to do it. it if you get frustrated during the learning process, it's something with a frailing strum. And if it, 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 it's confusing or you can't get down the, the rhythm. Or, you know, it, you just can't seem to get anything past the one, two, and three, or, you know, strike strum thumb, and you're still doing that eight months down the road, and you're getting frustrated with it, you know? Best thing you could do is put the instrument down and walk away for a little while. And when I say a little while, you know, it might, you know, hour, you know, maybe a day. Step away, take a breather, and just come back with a fresh attitude. That's the best important thing you can ever learn here. It's just to have a good attitude, positive attitude. And don't be in a rush. You don't have to be a certain grade of player at any certain time with this. It's a journey. Well, not really a journey. A journey implies that there's an end somewhere. But there's no end to music. And there's no rush. I don't care how old you are. I don't care if you're in your 50s and you want to learn how to play a banjo, you can learn how to play a banjo. It's all about your attitude. Even if you just learn a simple rhythm and just change chords with nothing other flashy, you know, hand movements, you know. So, let me get started today. I'm gonna show y'all some hammer-ons. Um, and my favorite fret and my favorite string to do it on is the third string, which is the G string on a banjo, on the third fret. Kind of gives it that bluesy feel. I like that. I like the sound of that. It sounds like a raw, you know, bluesy feel to it. So how do I do that? Well, let's start out by doing the frailing strum. Let's let's get into rhythm. Get into that strike strum thumb pattern. Let's get into the one, two, and three, four, and one. And let's get into it. So what we do, like we learned, we strike a string, strum a chord, pull our thumb off the fifth string. Nice and relaxed. It's a quarter note, two eighth note pattern, so we count. One, two, and three, four, and one. Two, and three, four, and one. Two, and three, strike, strike, strum, thumb, strike, Strong thumb. Nice and relaxed. Pat is going through the strings. First, second, third, fourth. First, second, third, fourth. Reverse. Third, 
second, first, fourth, third, second, first. Threw you for a loop there, didn't I? Alright, so, how, how I usually do a hammer on Strike a string. And when you strike a string, and it's usually in the eighth note pattern that I do it. So it counts one and. One and. And I'm on the third string, third fret. And you don't have to necessarily play it that way. How I do a hammer on, you don't have to do it that way. You don't have to do it on the same. You can experiment with different frets. You can do it on the fourth string, first fret. Kind of sounds dark, don't it? I did it on the third fret. So when you do a hammer on, all I'm doing is hitting the string with enough pressure to get a note and hold it. Now I'm not hitting it with so much force that I'm trying to beat the fretboard to death, break a string, or you know hurt your finger. You're just hitting it, just enough force. Just practice that for a second. And you hear I'm hitting the wrong strings. But it's not stopping me. I'm keeping going. If you hit a wrong string, it doesn't matter. Make a mistake, keep going. So, let's do the hammer on in an eighth note pattern. One and. And on and, you do your hammer on. One and. One and, one and, one and, one and. Now we're going to throw our, our uh, frailing strum into it. And what I do, since you're striking on the third string, you don't have to worry about the strike on the first and all that. We're just doing the strike on the third string. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and release it. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and it's an eighth note pattern. It's in four four time. One and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and ends on the upbeat. The, then the downbeat is your is your count. One and two and Three and four and understand? So throw it back together. Sip a little coffee. So we go one and two and three and four and 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 Strike on the third string, hammer on, strong thumb, strike. Strike, hammer on, strong thumb, strike, hammer on, strong thumb. So let's get into the second half of today's lesson. I got a two part lesson in one video. How about that? Let's get into some playing and singing. We're going to do some chord changes. In Bolum Cabbage Down, the version I learned, it's in the key of C. So the chords were C, F, C, G. So let's play that. And it's going to challenge you if you're not sure how to hit that F chord. It is a dreadful chord of death on guitar and banjo. Well, banjo is probably a little easier than the guitar, because, trust me, you ask any guitar player out there, and bar chords. Ooh. 
So anyway, here's the F chord on the banjo. And I'm going to show you real close. Index finger. Start making, it's pretty much a stair step. First finger, second string, first fret. Second finger, uh, third string, second fret. The fourth finger on the fourth string, third fret. And now, your pinky finger on the first string, third fret. I know that's a stretch for your fingers right now, if you're just starting out. Too. Um, just practice that, hold that, one, and accept any challenge out there. And like I said, if it's your hand starts getting tired, it starts getting fatigued, and you just get frustrated because you can't get the notes to ring out, step away. Come back, fresh attitude. And do it again. So, let's let's do the bowl and cabbage down. And let's just do a quarter note pattern. We won't worry about the frailing strum right now. We'll just count. I'll do it for you right quick. And pray to God that I hit that F chord. I have a hard time with it too. And I've been playing for five years. So, I still have my challenges. But I hit it from time to time. And when I do actually hit it on, on cue and on time, oh, happy days. So, boil them cabbage down, down. Bake them whole cakes brown, brown. The only song that I can sing is boil them cabbage down. So the chords are C, F, C, G7. Now when I hit G7, you just put in your, what I usually do is put my third finger on the third fret first string for a G7. Back to C. Song that I can sing. Now the only difference is you, you stay on C for two beats, G on two beats. Back to C. say 